Hi, I'm John Wahlbarger, and I'm going to read a poem of mine called Jerry and Ray. This was in Beltway Poetry Quarterly, uh, spring 2020, I think it was. Jerry and Ray. I visit Steve and Joanne. They're frazzled from renovating their house for two solid years. Holes in the floor, wood piles, mild chaos. We sit on the couch nibbling cheese below a ragged nest of wires. They're excited by what the house will be, which is sweet. Steve, mouthful of brie, blurts out, Johnny, have we got a juicy story for you? They found something. Steve winks saucily inside the bedroom wall. The previous tenant, Joanne explains, was an old lady, Jerry, who died in the house. It was her home for 60 years. She outlived her husband, Ray, by 30 years. At the end, so the story goes, Jerry, almost blind, died alone in bed. Steve, hammering Jiprock, found a packet taped shut. To Ray, Merry Christmas. Also, black and white photos of a naked lady in a beehive hairdo. Camping. Not Jerry. Steve stares at me, waiting for the penny to drop. Joanne waggles her eyebrows. Not Jerry, I say. The lady in the pics, Steve explains, smoked, smiled, danced, naked. Naked in a canoe, naked in the sun, in a tent. Naked, I say. They nod solemnly. The husband, Ray, must have sealed the photos in the walls, drywalled them in, and painted over it. His secret, untouched for sixty years. Did Jerry, feeling her way to the bed, small dark figure moving within a larger darkness, suspect that the house contained a certain intelligence? Before Jerry died, she stopped going out, and no wonder. Everything you need is right here. Out the window, a family strolls by in silence, like supernumeraries in a dream. Beyond them, an oil refinery groans like a bull. Joanne says, I blame Ray for Jerry's loneliness. Joanne found, she explains, Ray's walking sticks in the garage. Ray learned to carve as a POW in Poland. He couldn't talk to Jerry about his troubling memories. She didn't get it, so he visited, visited Madeline across the street. Madeline was not the naked woman, says Steve eyebrow arched. At Madeline's, Ray helped around the house, fixed her guitar. They talked. One evening, Ray didn't return for supper. Jerry put out the call. Ray's body hunched over his steering wheel, bottom of the street. I guess, I say, every house has secrets. Not this one, says Steve, gesturing to the exposed walls beams and nails and putty and muck, plainly visible. Joanne smiles. For thirty years afterwards, Jerry felt her way to the bed. Her handprints trailed the walls, errant gray with a dim yellow horizon where her hands had been. Thank you very much.